This video will run you through the steps to access your Poll Everywhere account, create an activity in Poll Everywhere, and present it to your class. To access your Poll Everywhere account, go to ctl.columbia.edu. Then navigate to Resources and Technology, Tools and Platforms, and click on the Poll Everywhere resource. On this page, you'll find a variety of tips and guides for using an audience response system like Poll Everywhere in your classroom. Click Launch, and you'll be directed to enter your uni and password. Once logged in, you'll be brought to the Poll Everywhere landing page where you can begin to create activities. To create your first activity, click on the Add Activity button. From here, you'll be able to choose from a variety of question types, including multiple choice, word cloud, or an open-ended question. We'll go ahead and create a multiple choice activity now. Type your question in the title field and then type your answer options below. You can add additional answer options if necessary. If the question has a correct answer, you can indicate that now with the green checkbox. Once you've completed creating the activity, click Create. The activity will then preview but you can also find this and all of your other activities by clicking on the Activities tab. In this view, you'll be able to access and manage all of your activities. Now we'll re-enter the activity that we just created by clicking on it. From this view, you can activate your activity and put it into full screen view by clicking Present. In full screen view, you'll be able to see the number of students who have responded, and by hovering over the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to access controls that allow you to toggle between showing the question and showing student responses, in addition to showing the correct answer. When you're ready to present a new activity, hover over the bottom toolbar, and you can advance and activate the next activity. To view and respond to an activity you've created, students will go to the pollev.com forward slash URL at the top of the question. Students can access the activity either by using a mobile app or by typing the URL into a browser window. Once students enter your Poll Everywhere room with this URL, they'll be able to continue to respond to any subsequent polls you present in a session. Keep in mind, only one activity can be active at a given time, and as you advance to the next activity in presentation mode, the next activity will automatically be activated and be presented to students. Here are some tips for getting started with Poll Everywhere. By default, activities are set so students will be prompted to log in with their uni to respond, and we recommend keeping this setting for tracking and accountability purposes. You can change the Poll Everywhere room URL where your students will go to respond to polls, and this can help make it easier for students to find your room with a shortened or easier to remember URL. There are a variety of advanced features in Poll Everywhere as well. You can present an activity in a PowerPoint or Google Slide presentation, and you can also generate reports of students' responses as well as push these reports to a Canvas assignment for grading purposes. If you'd like to explore more of these advanced features or just get help with the basics of Poll Everywhere, reach out to the CTL and a learning designer can help you get started.